Hello, welcome back to Citizen Pew. This is Citizen Pew Commentary, and today I'm going to be talking about this carbine I picked up. It's in 10 millimeter. It is by TNW Firearms, and I tell you what, uh, I, I I saw it. I was looking for a 10 millimeter carbine, and I said, you know, it got some pretty good reviews, and I said I'm going to give it a try, and I ended up ordering this one uh, from I think Palmetto State, but um, yeah. This is how it came. Well, except for the optic. I needed an optic to put on it. And I ordered this Sightmark optic right here. Uh, that's it. Sightmark. Yeah. I figured I'd give them a try. It's their SM26031 model. So, yeah. I don't have any Sightmark optics that I know of. So, I said I'll give it a shot. And uh, so, I put it on here. And we'll see how well I lined it up. I don't have a 10 millimeter uh, um, bore sight. And I had my 9mm out here, so I kind of had to just set it in there and uh, line it up. So we'll see how well it did. Anyhow, let me, uh, I'll tell you what, let me get a few shots off with this thing. And uh, then we'll go in some details. All right, here we go. It did come with a standard 10mm uh, Glock mag. Uh, so, yeah. And I have my Glock 20 with me, so I have the three mags that came with it. I have them all loaded up. We're going to give it a shot. So here we go. All right. All right, I loaded one in, went in smooth, so let's see how it does. Hmm. All right, I sided it in a little high, so I'll have to make a slight adjustment on it, but uh, the trigger is a little different. It's a little different. I got to get used to that. So, uh, but um, yeah, fired those first rounds off great. So um, yeah, I'm liking it so far. Uh, the feel, very, very nice feel. The front grip here, I don't know. I got to figure out how I want to do that. Uh, but they do call this their Euro survival rifle. So um there is a small rail that comes with this i think it, i believe you can attach it to either side here or the bottom um so i haven't hooked it up yet but um yeah we'll see uh we'll see how it how it goes you know yeah i was a little worried about how well the barrel will stay on because it is just you just slide the barrel in and thread it on um but we'll see how how tight it stays so um, as it heats up, it probably loosens up a little bit. But you can pick these up, these uh, TNW uh, Euro Survival Rifles, in 9mm, uh, 40 Smith & Weston. I believe they make it in 45 and something else, too, along with the 10mm. So, but, like I said, I've been getting into the 10mm round. I have two of the 10mm Glocks now, the Glock 40 and the Glock 20. And I needed a carbine, so this is what I picked up. All right, tell you what. Let's fire another magazine through it, and then I'll go over a little bit more details, maybe talk about the optic a little bit. So, here we go. All right. Locks in. All right. Cycled around in the chamber. All right, safety's off. Here we go. I didn't set the targets back up. I got a few more mags. I'm going to do a, a rapid burst on this one, then I'll set the targets back up for the next round. All right, here we go. all righty that is not good let me take this over to the other camera here and we'll get a good close-up all right it did drop a round out so that round just fell right out of the side there and you can see there i got a stove pipe and i tell you what it looks like it tore up the uh the casing here let me pull the mag out all right and yeah um put this round back in here there we go all right, let's see here. Yeah, it, it, it gnarled that up pretty good. Check that out. All right. Yeah, all right, well, let's see here. Tell you what. 
I locked the bolt back this time. Barrel feels like it's in there. It locked one in. Let's see how it does. All right. Whew. It cycled everything after that one. I don't know. Maybe we just had a one off here. So I tell you what. I mean, everything feels like it's tight. So, all righty. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to set the plates back up, talk a little bit more about this, and then uh, we'll fire another off, uh, fire off another magazine. So, I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, with any firearm, there's going to be a period of break in. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe that was a light round. Maybe it was the mag. Maybe it was the rifle. I don't know. Um, when this came in, I just broke it down, did a quick look through, wiped off some of the excess oil. So I haven't done a whole lot to it. So, but uh, it is just so you know, AR style stock here. That's adjustable AR style grip, and uh, does have a threaded barrel here. But like I said, the barrel uh, does unthread, so you can store it compactly. Uh, but yeah. Other than that, it doesn't lock the bolt back. You have to manually lock the bolt back, which you know. If they're advertising it as a survival rifle, you know, that's fine and stuff like that. So, all right, well, let's do another magazine here. Oh, well, you know, I'll tell you what, I am shooting today some MagTech ammo. Uh, this is 10 millimeter auto, 180 grain full metal jacket. So there you go. That's what I'm shooting today. Uh, I ordered some of that online and uh, just to do this video. So because I do have some other magazines, some aftermarket magazines I ordered. And I will be doing a video on that. That'll be on Rumble. So, alrighty. Let's see here. Cycled it in. All right, safety's off. I got the plate set back up. I haven't adjusted my optic yet, so I'll try to try to do really well with it um, by self-adjusting. So, here we go. Yeah, let's cycle that one well. So let's see here. Barrel's a little warm, but let me get my rag out here. It's staying tight, so that's good. Yeah, it cycled really well. Uh, it's getting a little warm right here where the barrel slides in. Uh, so it might be good to put that rail down here and maybe put some type of foregrip device on it. I don't know. We'll see as I get more familiar with it. But uh, it seems to be cycling. I don't know if this was a one-off or what. But uh, yeah, I got another mag loaded up here. And of course, I got this other brand of mags I purchased. So just so you know, they are SGM Tactical. They are compatible with Glock 10 millimeter. And I'll be doing a video on that. It'll be a short one. It'll be over on Rumble. But you know, I just can't do that here on YouTube because uh, of their policy. So, all right. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to set the uh, plates back up. We'll fire another set through it. So, all right, because that'll put us with uh, 1530, yeah, 60 rounds through it. And uh, we'll do, a, do some thoughts on it after that. All right, let me set the plates back up. Whew, all right, I finally got some cloud coverage. It's not that hot today. It's like 85 degrees, but uh, the humidity is killer. Uh, finally, the sun got blocked by some clouds. So, yeah, that'll be nice. Anyhow, this optic though, uh, this Sightmark optic, you can, you know, it's got the uh, four different retinal styles that you could choose from, and it is red and blue. Uh, it does use uh, the larger battery, uh, the, the long, you know, I'm used to the little wafer batteries. This one uses the CR123 Alpha. So I don't have a lot of things that use that battery that I know of. So uh, I'm gonna have to see if I can find some type of battery charger system. Um, because the, the optic is pretty nice. I like it. It's, it's, you know, it's got a nice viewing window. The size is pretty bulky, but I mean, it's not heavy. So yeah, we'll see. I don't know. All right. Tell you what, here we go. Uh, 
we'll do this uh this magazine i'll give you some final thoughts and then uh yeah if you want you can jump on over to rumble and check out the the uh video on the other mags i picked up that aren't glock brand so all right here we go locks in all right yep all right safety off here we go I tell you what i'm gonna say that maybe that was a one-off uh maybe it just didn't have enough power maybe it was a uh you know slightly lighter loaded round um i don't like how it dropped around out of the ground but uh i'm not i shoot mad uh mag tech i don't know how i don't shoot it all that often i'm used to i might have called this match tech but i have nine millimeter match tech i shoot a lot but the Magtech, I don't think I've shot much of it, so I'm not sure how quality of a brand it is. Uh, I just saw it was a really good price, so I ordered like 300 rounds of it. So, you know, you can tell me your thoughts on this ammo down in the comment section. Uh, as far as the optic, uh, I'm pretty happy with this Sightmark uh, brand. Uh, yeah, I might try out some of their other stuff. Uh, it just says it was designed in Texas. So uh, there, thank you, uh, you from Texas watching. Appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, the rifle did really well, I think, other than this one round. So um, I got to cycle a lot more rounds through it. I'll probably cycle, you know, all the 300 of the Magtech I bought. I, I've picked up some other brands of uh, 10 millimeter ammo to try through it just to see what it likes. But um, yeah, so far, so good. But like I said, I wanted to, I've, I've, I've picked up two uh, Glock. I got the Glock 20 here and I got the Glock 40 at the house um both 10 millimeter and i wanted to get a carbine so i picked this guy up and uh so far i'm uh i'm, uh, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it we'll see uh, i'll definitely be doing a follow-up video on this as i get more rounds through it and stuff like that so all right that's all i have for this portion of the video don't forget over on rumble you can see the other portion of the video where i'm going to try out these uh um uh, third party mags the sgm tactical mags but um you know, let me know your thoughts on this thing. If you have one, if you've thought about one, uh, and know what caliber maybe if you do have one or think about getting one, what caliber you'd go for. So, but uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it so far. Got to definitely cycle some more rounds through it to determine its reliability and stuff. And, but uh, yeah, you'll see a follow-up video come out. You will. Yep. The trigger, a little different, but um, I, I, you know, it, it doesn't take too much to get used to. So, all right. That's all I have for you on this video. Don't forget, you can check me out on Instagram and Twitter. I do have videos on Rumble, like I mentioned. And uh, you can go to my website at citizenpew.com. I got a, got a bunch of links there and some trivia and stuff. You can check it out. So other than that, that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching, and y'all have a good day.